Welcome to Fiddlehead, Fiddle Lessons. Now I'm going to show you the tune, O'Keefe Slide. Um, have you heard of that band, Flogging Molly? Well, they have this song called Black Friday Rule, and it uses O'Keefe Slide at the end. It's awesome. So what I'm going to do is show you the traditional way to play O'Keefe Slide in this video. It's a good beginner tune if you're a beginner. All you really need to know is like the basic D scale. And then in a later video, I'm going to show you how Flogging Molly transforms it and uses it in their song, Black Friday Rule. Anyway, here's the basic version of O'Keefe Slide, two A's, two B's, kind of quicker. So let's learn it a step by step way. Now if you don't already know the D scale, you should learn it. And let's just go over it right now. We're gonna do it on starting D open. One, two, three. And then same thing on A. So the whole D scale. Okay, so those are the notes that are used in this tune, O'Keefe Slide. Um, without getting too theoretical, it's actually um, also using a mode of the D scale called E Dorian. So it's the same notes, but you start on first finger D. You go up to open E. It's the same set of notes, except we start and end on E instead of D, and it gives it a minor sound. That's E Dorian. Practice that and D major. Alternate those two a bunch and then you're going to be just primed to learn this tune. Okay, so here we go. Um, first note, first on D string. Going to first on A. There it is again. By the way, all left hand fingerings are in the comment field below written out for you. Adding to that, just an open A. That's followed by starting second on D. Two, one, two. And then that's followed by open A to second on D. So the second bar is So the whole first quarter of this tune Moving on to the second quarter, starts the same, then it's going to do something different. Here's the different part. That's a, so the whole second quarter is... Good. Third quarter, very much like the first. It's a little simpler. There's no extra second D second note at the end. There's again. And then the fourth quarter starts with this. The 
notes on D two one two, then A to one. And then ending with two, one, one, open. The whole fourth quarter is this. Here it is again. So, you know all the quarters of the A part. If you're uncertain of anything, go back, rewind, and watch it. I'm now going to just slowly play the entire A part. I'm going to count in six beats because it's a 6 8 tune. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Good. Great job. Um, if you need to, just rewind and practice along with that a little bit. We're going to move on to the B part. Starts first finger on A. And we're going to go to open E. Do that. Get a nice big sound. I'm going to add the first on E now. Okay, adding a little bit more, we're going to add 3, 1, open on A. By the way, I'm mostly doing separate bows. It doesn't have to be that way, but it's good for beginners to kind of, it's just a simple way to approach the play. Here's that one more time. First quarter of the B part. Then the next chord is almost the same. Just a different last note. It goes up to second finger on the end instead of open A. Here's the second quarter again. Third quarter. Starting third finger on A. And sort of just walking down a D scale, going like three. Here is it again. And then we're going to add on the D string two, one, open. There you go. And we just add a first finger after that. That's going to lead to the last phrase. So here's the third quarter again. Okay, and then last quarter, just basically like the uh, last quarter of the A part. The same exact thing. So what you should know by now if you've already done the A part. Okay, so now I'm just going to play through the B part slowly. One, two, three, four, five, six. Good. Um, now I'm just going to do one A slow, one B slow, so you can kind of see how they fit together. Thanks for watching, okay? Um, I think you're going to like this tune a lot, so practice, practice, practice. You know what they say, whoever they are, wherever they live. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four.
four, five, six. I'm going to do the A part one more time because I think just there I might have added a note and I don't want it to be confusing. So here's the A part one more time. There you go. Okay, have fun with that. See you next time. Bye. Thanks for watching the video. Excellent.